Uh, race one was pretty interesting, starting from eighth. Uh, I definitely had like a little strategy plan going on. Um, so at the start, you know, everybody's trying to find their way around turn two, and I knew at some point that there was going to be something crazy that was going to happen because everybody's trying to, you know, win the race on the first corner, which is not always the smartest thing. But uh, so it was kind of like, okay, there's a possibility that there could be some kind of carnage here. Uh, and I actually made a few positions at the start. I was like on the outside and I broke past like a, maybe three cars. So yeah, coming around turn two, it was like suddenly there were cars flying everywhere and dust flying everywhere. And I saw actually my teammate was a part of that, Sloan. And that was a total bummer because I knew that he had qualified second and everybody was like super psyched for him as I was too. Uh, so I was kind of bummed to see that. And then I looked ahead and I realized, oh my gosh, I have this small window to make through because I saw Miles was like, I guess sliding backwards and like closing this window so I went to full throttle and like was hoping that I was gonna make it and somehow I came out in third and I was like amazed because there was so much carnage back there I was surprised anybody else made it through but it was interesting uh, so yeah after the caution I'm running third on uh, Colin got a little bit of, of a gap in me gap on me at first but then as the laps went on, I just kind of started to slowly reel him back in. Uh, started putting the pressure on him a little bit, but then I also had my teammate, Michael Mills, behind me, putting the pressure on me too. So I was kind of like in the middle of this uh, strategy war going on. Uh, but then I just focused forward and I realized that I really got to get around Colin and just put the pressure on him just enough to where he kind of you know, got a little sideways coming out of five and then I got him going into turn six we were side by side and I finally got around him and got a pretty good gap after that so I was pretty happy with that. have been to Mazda Raceway maybe three times before this I drove a Skip Barber car here and then Star Mazda last year and every time I've been here I've I've loved it and all the cars that I've driven here even the GT3 Cup car all of them have different personalities so it's really interesting I've had to drive it really different every time I've come and I really love, uh, I think it just really makes you think, you know, the elevation, the compressions, uh, the high speed corners, you know, test your guts a little bit. And obviously the corkscrew is pretty much amazing, so uh, it's definitely one of my favorite racetracks.